I'm Dr. Sanjay Panikkar. I founded Amrita Homeopathy 19 years back. We are placed in Koramangala 80 feet road. A very common question asked by a lot of my patients is whether my hair loss can be reversed. Hair loss is a very common term which is used by a common man and they usually say I'm losing hair. But if you look at it medically, there are 40 different types of hair loss. And whether it can be reversed or not depends upon the type of hair loss that the person is having, which we can diagnose with help of certain equipments like a video microscope or a hair analyzer or equipments like that. There are biopsies, blood tests and all those things with which we can identify what type of hair loss it is. and then we can tell the patient whether you can reverse it back or not medically speaking among all the 40 types we don't get all the 40 types of cases that come to us the more most common type of hair loss that comes to us androgenic alopecia alopecia areata and telogen effluvia these are the three most common type of hair loss which we come across now if you look at androgenic alopecia it is a condition where the hormone dihydroxy testosterone which is there in both men and women comes and attaches to the hair roots on the crown area of the scalp because the scalp becomes sensitive to this particular hormone when the hormone attaches to the root of the hair the nutrition what is supposed to reach the hair reduces and hence the hair starts thinning every time a thick hair falls a thinner hair starts growing and a thin hair falls a even thinner hair grows and eventually it dies this process of thinning of the hair strand usually happens after 50 years or after 60 years but nowadays we see even 20 and 30 year old people coming up with this common type of hair loss where the hair is thinning this is an aging process of the hair strand and aging is supposed to happen later on in life but for some people due to various lifestyle and reasons and hormonal problems and so many things like that we get these conditions happening earlier now here in medical science two things is irreversible one is if i become old i cannot become young once there is death the dead tissue cannot be restored and once a person becomes old he cannot become young the same rule applies to the hair once the hair becomes old it cannot become young once the hair uh, dies then you cannot bring it back to life there is no way you can do it So in androgenic alopecia which is a process of hair aging after it ages it dies so once it dies then you cannot bring it back to life once it ages the thick hair what you have on the scalp can become as thin as what you have on the body as small as the hair which you have on my hand now here so this type of very small hairs are also seen on the scalp as the scalp hair becomes thinner and thinner so once it becomes very old like that you cannot make it thicker there's no way you can once it dies you cannot bring it back to life again <clears throat> so in this condition it is irreversible you have to arrest that particular process with treatment and the hair which has just started aging we can improve it but the hair which has become old we cannot whereas in the other condition like telogen effluvium it's a common condition seen after pregnancy after delivery um, when women start losing lot of hair or maybe after a major illness like typhoid malaria jaundice after antibiotic people lose lot of hair in bunches if i touch the patient's hair i get 10 15 hair in my hand so that is telogen effluvium in this particular type of condition you get you lose hair from all over the scalp it's not specifically from the crown alone it's from the entire scalp and when this type of hair loss is there you can restore it back actually the patient start improving many patients improve or restore it even without any treatment that is called acute telogen effluvium when it is chronic when it goes beyond a particular stage like more than 6 months the person is losing hair like this then it's called chronic telogen effluvium and in this condition we have to interfere and we have to treat it with medication otherwise the person will go bald the other type of hair loss is alopecia areata alopecia areata is a patchy hair loss which comes here and there in patches In this type there are two types of hair loss scarred and non scarred the scarred one there is a scar which forms in the area of the patch and that scar once it forms it's like any other wound scar there the hair roots are destroyed and hair cannot grow back whereas in the non scarred variety you can grow back the hair 
uh, if you treat it or if you don't treat it also in some patients it grows back <clears throat> but if in case these patches start increasing and they the entire hair is lost of the scalp that is called alopecia totalis the total hair is lost and some people even it affects the eyebrows this is an autoimmune condition our own immune system is doing damage to our own hair roots in such a type of hair loss medical intervention is required otherwise you cannot restore it